Happy Sunday, everybody. I just pulled up to the Trader Joe's parking lot and I think I'm gonna grab some lunch. I've been in such a bad habit lately of wanting to eat out. Ugh, during the pandemic, I was so good at cooking and I love cooking, don't get me wrong, cooking and baking, therapeutic for me. But since like we just chose really not to eat out, we saved so much money. And I don't know, I just feel like really inspired and lately, I just, not that I'm not inspired, it's just so convenient to go grab food out. And it's fun because in LA, there's just so many good food places and I really wanna just try to utilize eating new places because there are so many options here. But at the same time, like it's not good for your budget, it's not good for weight loss and I need to work on both of those things probably my whole life Ugh, annoying right but it is what it is um so that is the plan for today I didn't really do much this morning just my standard like tidying up and I edited a vlog that went up this morning talked to my parents which is really nice I think I'm gonna go home next month for a little bit which is gonna be refreshing because I feel like I'm starting to get that feeling where I need like that hometown just like refreshment R like go back to my roots and remember like who I am and sense I don't know how to explain it I, obviously I know who I am but it's always nice to be around family and to I don't know just just do nothing really like when I go home it's so nice because like I literally have nothing to do besides just see people that I love because I already know like what is there I'm not like trying to do excursions and stuff like that I'm literally just like resting recovering connecting and it's so so nice so let's go grab some lunch and then a few things from Trader Joe's I love the little shopping center on Third Street because they have a Trader Joe's and paper stores and then they just put in a sidecar donuts over here which is dangerous but they also have my favorite little lunch spot if you're ever in LA and need like a good sandwich and salad Mendocino Farms is my favorite waiting in line and I love the farm club I love the mom seeded whole wheat or I get it with ciabatta bread and I don't get the bacon and then I also like the little sides at the table right here. Apparently the masks are mandated again, so that kind of sucks. Didn't realize that. They just handed me a new one, but it is what it is, right? Trying to be safe. Their unsweetened passion fruit iced tea is my obsession. This and the Cheesecake Factories, I can't get enough. Lunch is secured. Actually, I want to go into the paper source first because I'm a little bitch for little knickknacks and cutesy things, so let's just make a wish list, why don't we? I need these. Uh, adorable. These are hilarious. Well, this sounds really fun. I feel like I'm a friend's band, but then when there's a friend's trivia, I get a little insecure and I just don't think I'm as big of a friend's band as I think. Look at these cute little stickers. So fun. Okay, this birthday candle. Look how cute that is. The sprinkles and Oh my gosh, the candle lover in me is so like wanting to buy this, but I'm not gonna hoard, not gonna hoard. For all the fit girls out there, look how cute that is. I love a good creative card. Let's see what they've got to offer. The first order of business, it's Britney Bitch. You know I'm a sucker for anything Golden Girls. That's adorable. I am getting this for Ryan next year. I love little cards like this. They're perfect for thank you notes and the citrus always gets me. And also just like any cute little flower detailing on the front. I love Trader Joe's flowers and my hydrangeas died. So I think I'm gonna buy another bouquet of them because it looked really beautiful. And I'm gonna go with the blue one this time. The white ones look nice, but I'd love like little pop of light blue color in my apartment. So there's that. I also think I might get some fresh eucalyptus. Oh, love these. These were kind of what I had in my wedding bouquet, but they're called Feverfew and this is chamomile. You can actually make tea out of them. Cherry season, so I feel like I need to get some cherries, even though if you don't know this, they're not the best to have around dogs just in case the pit were to fall out. So you have to just be so, so careful with eating your cherries around your puppy dogs because it can be extremely toxic to them. New arrivals, which I just get so excited for. Look at this olive wood board. How high quality does that look? Amazing. Only $24. Really sturdy too. They're like super into their olive wood here and I've had a spoon from them that is olive wood and it's really, really sturdy. Also saw this. This is fun. I love coconut aminos and this has a barbecue flavor to it. That's nice. I love these. These are like the healthier version of M&M's. Ooh, tea. This looks interesting. I'm not a big mayo person, but everyone loves the chili lime seasoning. So this is a fun new product.
I love grocery shopping and looking at little knickknacks, just like the little joys in life, right? If you're feeling like you're having a bad day, go do something that is something little that you would think wouldn't make a huge impact on your day. But honestly, if you think about it, the little things add up to shift your mood. It really does. Like, yeah, the bigger events are nice, but what really matters are like your day-to-day -day joys. Trader Joe's whole time. Some greens, arugula, spinach, the hash browns that Ryan and I are obsessed with. You can do so much with these hash browns. Some milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. I haven't had these in so long and they are freaking addicting. Gummy tummies, so yummy. Sorry for Ember squeaking his ball it's not gonna stop because he's obsessed with it the sweet red cherries ryan loves some like fruit pops so i picked up these fruit bars that have raspberry lemon and strawberry the casio e pepe is where it's at we get it you love your ball some tangerine juice i also picked up organic brown rice quinoa spaghetti pasta ember please with the squeaking mint microgreens avocado duh. two things of ground chicken an orange so i can make my little orange like salt water and then oh my gosh these are back finally these are so so good if you haven't tried these yet i don't love black licorice they also have that but the strawberry is so good and then some just mango slices my sandwich fell apart it's a freaking catastrophe the bread sogged up and ripped the paper that was wrapped around it and it's just a soggy freaking mess okay god i hear you you don't want me to have the extra carbs today noted okay all the groceries are away i want to make my spa water this has been making me feel so so hydrated what i do is i take three orange slices i mean obviously do how many you want it doesn't really matter there's no like recipe but i've just been using the three because it fits my pitcher which i got from waco texas when i went to magnolia market and then i use a whole entire cucumber cucumber is so hydrating and so are oranges which people don't realize i follow this lady on tiktok and she's a wellness professional and she was saying how oranges like if you feel super dehydrating and you're drinking a lot of water and you just don't feel like it's doing the trick, oranges and cream of tartar and a few other things really help with getting that hydration back. I'm gonna add in three mint leaves, just like big ones. I actually, I'm gonna add a few more. I really like when mine's minty. I feel like it helps curve my sweet tooth. So one mint in, two, three. Oh, this concoction smells straight up like a spa. I'm very zen right now. Okay, I'm gonna fill this up with cold water and then let it marinate for a few hours. I really like to do this at night because then it allows everything to just marinate overnight and then I can wake up and have like this power packed glass of water. That is just like a really nice way to start my morning. She is looking beautiful. We have the mint, cucumber, and orange. You can add lemon slices. You can add any other kind of fruit you really want. I mean, I wouldn't suggest bananas. That'd be kind of gross and mushy, but you know what I'm saying. Any kind of citrus is really good. Some berries. It just adds like a nice little flavor but the cucumber and the mint are key for me I put my hydrangeas in this pretty vase right here on my coffee table I think I did a good job dad let me know I didn't call you this time I thought maybe I would put some of the skills I learned from you to the test and now I want to light my candle the candle I am burning tonight is from Volu Spa, not Bath & Body Works, I know, shocker. It's the Sai Jo Persimmon Candle. It smells so yummy. It's kind of like grapefruit for summertime. I like putting it up on this little shelf that I have that I got from Home Depot. Very like French country-esque interior decor. I love to mix my interior decor with like French country, slightly modern, not boho, but I do really like that like spa Tulum look just in doses, small doses for me. I have been needing some new glasses for quite some time now and finally I was just like I need to invest in them and stop just wearing my contacts all the time even though I have disposable daily contacts it is nice to give your eyes a rest and like on the weekends maybe I don't want to wear my contacts and just wear my glasses all day also it's a lot less expensive when you just have your glasses I cannot get LASIK surgery which really sucks I really wish I could hopefully in a few years technology will advance and my stigmatisms can be corrected with the LASIK. Anyway, so I've been seeing Warby Parker all over the internet, and so I found that LA has two locations, and I picked up some glasses. They're really cute, and they come with this sweet little case that says, nice to see you. It is not like the black frame that I used to go with. It's a little bit more trendier and fashionable with more of the tortoise shell, and I think it just looks really good on me. I still have my contacts in, so I'm not going to open my eyes because I don't want to like shock my eyeballs, but this is what it looks like on. I'm gonna take my contacts out really quickly and then open my eyes. Here we go, all or nothing. I haven't worn glasses in so long. Whoa, this feels weird. Oh my gosh, my eyes are definitely gonna have to adjust to this. I feel like I'm in a fishbowl. Woo, woo, 
but that definitely happens with glasses. You just have to give it like a day or two for your eyes to just adjust the new lenses. I also have to have a little bit different of prescription than my normal contacts. So anyways, I'm sure you don't want to hear about my little glasses rant, but if you're looking for new glasses, Warby Parker is actually really affordable. These were $99, and because I have really bad eyes, it costs a little bit more to get the better lenses, but most people don't have terrible eyes like I do, so it's definitely more of an affordable option. Okay, so we are going to go on a nightly walk and then watch Space Jam 2 because they have it for free on HBO Max. Let me know if you've seen it already in the comments down below and what you think. I love chatting about movies. Ugh, it's one of my favorite things ever. All right, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and love you.